Married at First Sight may have premiered a few weeks back, but it just aired the recently aired third episode is the one that has officially started things as many couples got married that day and others started their first nights together. So firstly, we had to talk about the couple who had their special day. We only got to see Kristen surprise her father with the news she was getting married the next day. So episode three kicks off with his reaction to it, which is naturally shock followed by panic. He asks her if she realizes how crazy and risky her decision is, but after some more Thai panicking in Mitch's room, he finally starts to calm down and jokes about how the cameras are going to record his bitchy side. Even Kristen was nervous for a while, but you can see the nerves leaving her body as she opens a package sent by her dad, which is just a plant and a custom wedding ring. She gets emotional and cries a little happy tears at her dad's gesture as her wedding starts. Over with Mitch, he makes a hilariously awkward mistake when he thinks that Kristen's mother enters the wedding and he asks the officiator if that's his wife. He couldn't help it. He does not know his bride is around a decade younger than him. Their marriage comes to an end and they seem to be getting along as they have their first chat together while sharing some champagne, even though Mitch makes a risk comment about how Kristen could have toned down her makeup. We don't get to see a lot of Morgan and Ben who are yet to meet and wet as a groom caught COVID and is currently treating it in isolation. Then comes a photo shoot of the married couple and Miguel and Lindy, whose wedding started in the last episode, also have theirs. They seem to be making progress as well with Lindy's friend remarking Miguel to be exactly her type. The hectic photo shoot goes well as well and then came the reception where Miguel and Lindy break out the first dance, which is a little awkward for the bride she claims she's never slow danced with a guy before this. Crystal and Mitch have also their first dance to a more upbeat song. Nate and Stash are also making progress in their chemistry as they share dreams of going outside San Diego. Alexis and Justin are also bonding as she tells him how he's a perfect person that can support her bubbly personality. A sin cuts back to Miguel and Lindy where we learn that Lindy can speak a bit of Spanish too. Kristen asks her slightly older husband if he's been married before, and he surprisingly does not just answer no, but adds that he hasn't even been such relationships. Sometimes later, the two grooms, Mitch and Miguel, run into each other in the bathroom where they have a small chat about their wonderful wives, but also share their insecurities about how they both fear they can self-sabotage it. They also get to talk to each other's family members, and everyone seems to be getting along, even when Mitch reveals to Kristen's mother how he thought she was his wife. They just laugh it off. There is a tense moment between Miguel and Lindy's brother when he reveals he's not religious, but they overlook it among the celebrations. Nate and Stasha also have a calm talk with each other's friends and families. Stasha seems okay with Nate having female friends at first, but starts to look a little insecure as she chats with one of those female friends about just how close they are. Kristen and Mitch seem to be the ones with the most chemistry and going on their first night. It looks like they'll quite possibly consummate their marriage. Other couples, while well blinded, are unsure of themselves of what they will do. Only Justin seems to be holding himself back as he says he doesn't want to force Alexis, but she thinks he's acting celibate and it concerns her. Credits roll as all the couples head to their rooms, so it will likely not be revealed who we'll reach the endgame in the next episode.